four jars of some absolute fire, as the kids would say. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Short and Stoned, but if you're new, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canna advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, we are going to be taste testing some amazing Colorado solventless products. So I recently picked up these four jars of some absolute fire, as the kids would say. First, I'll start off with, might I say my favorites? Here's some Halloween edition hash. It is Live Rosin by Jaws Hash. This is Friday the 13th, and it is a cross of blueberry and skunk. And man, it smells and tastes like it. Oh my gosh, just having that open, it's in the air. It's wafting. And then next is Frankenstein. And this is a lovely cross of Bubba and Cherry Kush. It is really heavy on the cherry, almost like a sweet cherry, kind of like a Kool-Aid. I really, really enjoy this one. Next, we're moving on to some Tulu Terps. Very ecstatic to get my hands finally on these guys. Really respect what they're doing over there. The first one I have is Specimen X, and this is a cross of Devil Driver and I believe Purple Punch. I'm not sure on the second one, but definitely the Devil Driver. And then next, okay, this one, the favorite of the two, this is a Rainbow Guava. And it is a cross between Rainbow Belts or Rainbow Sherbert and Strawberry Guava. Mm. It tastes so much better than it smells. It's pretty mild on the smell, but the taste is amazing when consumed at the right temperature. And the Tulu Terps is going to be cold cure hash rosin. All right, let's get into doing some taste tests. There are some really distinctive flavor profiles in this lineup, which is why I chose to just do a general taste test versus like an overall, you know, rating rundown to show and tell. I wanted to taste and, you know, share with you guys the flavor profiles. I feel like some people when they're getting into consumption or even if they're newer to consuming concentrates it can be a bit harder to find the vocab to explain the flavors or the aromas so I want to break it down for you but also if you want to session along now's a perfect time grab your rigs grab your products and and for my taste test of course I have to go in with both the Puffco's. I was skeptical about a ceramic atomizer being optimal for flavor preservation, but the coating they have on it, this is the way to go. Especially at lower temperatures, you can almost pull out every flavor profile and terpene. Let's start on the new peak. We'll end with the hash rosin since some may say that's a little bit better. Others might argue the live rosin might be a step above the hash because this is live. Let me know in the comments, which do you consider a step above? We're gonna start with the one that's crossed with the skunk and blueberry, Friday the 13th. This has the most head held effects out of any of them. Also, shout out crystal cutters for quite literally my favorite tool ever. Let's fire this sucker up. Go at green, which is 510. Five clicks to activate boosted mode just for dry hits. I love this one. The cross of blueberry and skunk couldn't be more evident in the smell and the taste. I'm excited to explain to you what I taste on the inhale and then the exhale. Cause flavor to flavor, lineage to lineage, that can change. Cheers. Wow. You smack your lips and that's all blueberry. Light gas on the inhale. Definitely a little bit of that skunk. That skunk funk. And then blueberry. I feel like this kind of like, you know, throw back to blueberry headband. I'm not getting the blueberry flavor profiles like this anymore. Really well done. In fact, I have a journal where I log all my solventless terps 
and we tried my favorite and this jar the friday the 13th jar made my holy grail list it is all perfect high nines perfect tens for me and i don't give that out often flowers where flowers are due because man i i'm just gonna heat it up again i can't say anything else i just want to hit it again I did bump it up to red. That's 5.30. That made my holy grail list. Too bad it is a Halloween special. Next, we're moving on to Frankenstein. The one that tastes like cherry Kool-Aid. I am so grateful to live in a state with such amazing hash makers. Seriously, these people are blowing it out of the waters. Cheers. All over my lips when I smack them. So much cherry. It tastes like cherry Kool Aid. Crazy. On the inhale, it is slightly a little sweet, but like an earthy undertone on the inhale only. Exhale is cherry to the max. Maybe a little undertones of still that sweet a little bit. I love that one. That is a flavor bomb. It is still tasty and potent, but it isn't as up there in the taste profile and how strong it smacks as the blueberry and the skunk. That is just extra. Next, we're gonna move on to the Tulu. We're gonna start with Specimen X and we'll end it out with the Rainbow Guava. Ooh, I love that one. It tastes like it sounds. All right, Specimen X. I remember he definitely said it was a Devil Driver. I looked it up and it said Purple Punch. I'm not sure if that's what this grower chose. But we're going to be enjoying this out of the Puffco Peak Pro, the Flourish Edition, my favorite, my baby. All right, going in 520 degrees. Like I mentioned before, I really respect what Tulu Terps is doing. Their whole mission is to help people heal. I can get behind that. Cheers. That is gassy. I can't get behind that. It's crossed with purple punch. I really can't. It's too gassy to be, unless Devil Drivers particularly, I'm just gassy. It's got a little bit of funk. Kind of reminds me of like almost GMO on the inhale, not on the exhale. On the inhale, mm. that is pungent. But like besides just reminiscent of GMO, like a little bit of funk gas in there. Kind of like a foot after you've been working out. Some might not be drawn to that. I, however, am. I like the funky stuff. this flourish. I can't stop looking at it. It's just so aesthetically pleasing. Last one, best one. Ah, the rainbow guava. Holy cow. Light and sweet. It's not too strong. It's light and sweet. A little fruity. Oh, so good. I just want to get it in my mouth. It smells very appealing. Besides the Friday the 13th, the Rainbow Guava has to be the second runner up for my favorite of these jars. Cheers. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, it smells so good. Oh. So smooth. I can keep ripping it. very thin and light on the cloud production, but the flavor was not lacking. Faint reminiscent cousins of Skittles. There's definitely a hint of that fruitier medley in there between the rainbow, the strawberries, the guava. It is all blending together nicely. And I like a little sweet little parfait. I love it. It is not too powerful on any single particular fruit. It just blends together nicely. I really like that. It's like a nice refreshing one compared to the overpowering gassy one. You had very pungent blueberry and skunk and then like a cherry Kool-Aid. This is nice. This is a palate cleanser. I'm very happy I ended with this one. <laughs> I'm super grateful for all of these jars. They are all amazing. Rank very high on my scale and the flavors were all there and there are so many people that are out here doing it themselves so that means small batches and just better quality in my opinion of stuff you get in the store sometimes but don't get me wrong there are some amazing rec market companies and washers as well in fact next week i have a video coming out and i'll be doing a similar style video but with some Colorado medical market solventless products. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. I hope you were enjoying along with me. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment to keep the conversation going. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to sesh and hang out with me more and hit the bell icon so you don't miss an upload. If you're curious about checking out my content, my previous upload was a Baking While Baked episode. It was a triple chocolate cake two tiers. And stay tuned for my next upload, which will be comparing the new Peak and the Dr. Dabber Boost Evo. I post videos every Thursday and Saturday at noon MST. So I'll see you real soon. Peace. And if you didn't hear it yet today, I appreciate you. Bye.